Inside the biscuits, on a microscopic level, there are tiny holes that act just like that, like capillaries, and the water actually climbs up against gravity. We're taking the nation's ten favourite dunking biscuits, and by dunking them all within an inch of their lives, we'll arrive at Britain's strongest dunker. Feels like a wet bath mat. The hobnob lasted a paltry 13 seconds. I knew it. And the king of the hill was the rich tea, which lasted well in excess of 10 minutes. It's the safety biscuit. Science is a real image problem. When you think about science, you think about, you think about lab coats, you think about boring things, laboratories, jargon. Actually, for me, science is much more than that. The science is interesting. It's about how the world works. It's about how our body works. It's about how we make decisions in life, about what we should eat, what we shouldn't eat, how to stay healthy. And yet it's really difficult to find that kind of information in a way that is easy to understand and that you can trust. We're going to find out where actually the hot spots and the cold spots are in this microwave. So what I've got is I've got uh, some of this, which is the thermal printing paper that you get out of those credit card machines when you buy something. It actually prints with heat and not with ink. And when this gets heated, it will um, go black. Okay, so I've got here a piece of card that I've covered with this thermal printing paper. I'm going to wet it because microwaves heat water. Microwaves are of a certain frequency, they have this strange property that they make water molecules jiggle around and as they do that it causes the, the water to, to heat up. So here we are, so we're going to put this in now, I'm going to moisten it, so it's all completely wet. I'm going to okay, so NJ, still water? Yes. And sparkling water? Yes. What's the difference between the two? Uh, one's got fizz to it. One's got bubbles. fizz, yep. Okay, so normal glass. That's the normal fizz that you would normally get from pouring any kind of sparkling drink into a glass. And this one has salt in the bottom. You can see the bottom. You can try this at home when you're serving people maybe some fizzy wines and champagne. If you sprinkle some sugar in beforehand, you'll get a lot more fizz and maybe some more exciting champagne to serve your guests. Today we're going to do some electronics and I have with me some dough. Uh, it's like Play-Doh that you might buy in the shops. Uh, this is dough that I've made myself. This is conducting dough and this is insulating dough. This is dough that's been made with sugar. This is dough that's been made with salt and electricity can pass through this one. So for today we need... Some GPs and clinicians might have their own concerns. Won't this lead to increased workload and increased costs? I found that a real benefit from this more personal approach. It gives patients with long-term conditions more control and responsibility for their health. I've seen this approach isn't a revolution, but it's a change in emphasis where patients and health professionals develop an ongoing relationship, working together to make better decisions. Have you ever wondered why when you rub batteries together they seem to last longer? So your remote control is just run out of power and you get the batteries out and you roll them around and you put them back in and you get a little bit more power out of it. We're going to have a look at that today. Today I have with me, I have a lemon and I have some bits of kit here. So I've got a piece of zinc here. I've got a normal fork made out of stainless steel. I posh this into the lemon and the piece of zinc into there. This ant now actually acts like a battery. There's a chemical reaction that will go on inside this lemon. It's nice snug fit and it's not going to spin around. Uh, slide it shut. And we'll put it on for a few seconds. Uh, I don't know if you can see in there, but probably not. But there are black spots that are forming. And we can have a stop and see how it's looking. There we go, look at that. Fab. So there are, so there are the hot spots in the microwave. You can actually feel this, that it's warm here. So and what we're gonna do, cold I don't here. know if you've ever seen this before, but if you were to put a Mento Mint into a bottle of Diet Coke, you ever done that? See what right. happens? Have you, have you ever done it? No. Okay, you'll get an explosive sort of fountain of um, coke spewing everywhere. We might try it a little bit. And I'm just going to go through the reason of why that is.